where there's a unique event coming up where folks are going to be building sculptures out of something you wouldn't think they'd use. Here to talk about construction, I'm joined by Amanda Allen from Feeding America Southwest Virginia. Good morning. Thanks for coming and talking to Good us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So construction. Probably a lot of folks are putting it together is what it sounds like. <laughs> Tell us about what it, this event is. It is kind of what it sounds like. It's a colossal canned food sculpture competition. So we're using canned goods just like you'd see in the grocery store, but we have people bu building giant sculptures out of them, works of art, really. And, and this is something that's been done in the past. What mm -hmm. types of sculptures do, have they built before? I mean, it's a little bit of everything that you see. Anything and everything. Uh, most teams will pick a theme for their sculpture, and uh, they'll come up with a creative title or something like that. And when I say sculptures, I mean big sculptures. These things are like two-story tall. Some of them are that tall. These are these are huge. Um, you know, you can come by and check them out. And they use, uh, I think we've got one team that's using over 4,000 cans in their structure. Oh, wow, that's mm -hmm. amazing. And this is all benefiting Feeding America. Yes, it's benefiting Feeding America Southwest Virginia. So all of the cans that are going to get used in the sculptures will go at the end of the, the run of the sculptures and dismantle them, take the cans back to the food bank. And when people come and visit, we encourage them to bring canned goods to donate as well. So the Taubman Museum of Art, where the sculptures will be, will have collection bins, and folks can bring canned goods to donate and use those canned goods to vote for people's choice. Oh, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. All right, so tell us when this has taken place, because they're going to start building coming up this week. Yes, next week, next Thursday, is the build day, and that's, that's closed so the teams go into the museum and they'll build the sculptures and then Friday evening we have a big kickoff event and uh, the jurors will come out in the morning Friday morning but Friday evening is when we have the big public event and you'll find out uh, who won an award and get to check out the sculptures and have a good time and then the sculptures will be up through November 20th. And you can stop by the Taubman Museum of Art during their hours yes. to be able to Yep, during the Taubman Museum hours, you can come check them out. There'll be information posted on the different sculptures, so you can read about the, the why and how many cans and which team built them, and you can see what awards they won, too. That sounds like a, a wonderful event. Uh, it's certainly a unique fundraiser, for sure. Yes, it is. It's a great way to raise awareness. It's very creative, so it's a different take on talking about hunger in the community. We bring some art, some creativity, and some fun to it, but we also raise awareness that we'll take in, um, you know, several thousand pounds of food from this, and we really, really need it at this time coming up on the holidays for our community. And the holidays always is the busy time for you all, where you give out a lot more food. Yes, it's a tight squeeze and we do give out a lot of food and we also see a lot of people who need help you know they have to pay heating bills as the weather gets colder and you know they they need a hand and that's what we're here for all right perfect check that out at the Taubman Museum of Art coming up later this week we're gonna put the information for you up on our website at WSLS.com thank you so much for coming and talking to us this thank morning. you